So we got set up this morning, another nice cool morning, and uh, we're expecting to finish sometime this evening uh, after a really good day yesterday. And as we progress through today, uh, Hadrian performed absolutely beautifully, basically non-stop, very few interruptions. And uh, we were finished a little bit after 12 o'clock today. Yeah, well, thank you that, for that, Mark, because uh, when I got the call from you this morning, I was still sitting in my pyjamas having a cup of coffee, uh, expecting that I could take my time, but the machine actually finished the job earlier than we expected today, which is wonderful. The whole team has performed beautifully over the last few days, and for some of them, it's the very first time on a construction site. So we'll take those learnings back with us now. Uh, we'll debrief from this and uh, get ourselves ready for uh, the next site and we'll just be better and faster at it. Yeah, it's been the culmination of years of effort by hundreds of people. The team's changed over the years, but everybody along the way should be really proud of their contribution. The team today just did a superb job, as they have all week, and uh, it was great to see so many interested parties just turn up and had a look and everybody really enjoyed today, which was really nice. Yeah, it was good to see people bring their families out and uh, we had a great gathering for the last brick as it went down on the structure. So uh, that was a, a moment in time we won't forget. And it's been great to actually mix it with uh, the viewing public and a lot of our shareholders, uh, WA-based shareholders that have come along. Uh, every opportunity we've had, we've, uh, we've taken people in and around the site uh, to show them what we're doing. Uh, to explain certain things. People have been wondering about, you know, how does this bit work and how does that bit work? And to be able to stand back and just have those sorts of conversations with uh, everyday people, uh, seeing a machine like this uh, in a suburban environment, um, that, was, that was my most rewarding part over the last few days. Yeah, for me it's been really nice few days actually because the team's been able to do everything and I've just been wandering around looking for jobs occasionally picking up rubbish because there's nothing else to do. Like you do back uh, at the uh, workshop. Yeah. And get, getting out to uh, talk to talk to people, some of whom I haven't seen for a few years and uh, you know it's just really nice to see everybody happy and really pleased and, and it's great to see Hadrian out performing what, it, what it's always been intended to do. Look from here now we'll, uh, we'll regather back at uh, headquarters this afternoon, uh, probably a little bit of a celebration there. And then during the course of the week, we'll uh, debrief uh, all the respective teams that have operated here at site and also that have been monitoring what's been going on back at our headquarters. Uh, and then from there, you know, we're in a, a post-COVID world. Uh, there's still many things we don't understand, uh, but we're you know, flexible and agile as a company. And um, over the coming weeks and months, uh, we should be able to come back to our uh, supporters and, uh, and, and give them a view as to how we see 2021 forming in front of us. Yeah, so from the technical side of things, we have a process of ongoing improvement. And just because we've been out here in the suburbs and built a house over the last three and a half days, it's not where we're, we're going to stop. You know, we're always intending to improve the performance, the speed, accuracy, safety and waste reduction of Hadrian. This site here um, is our first in the suburbs R&D test build throughout the course of uh, 2020. Uh, we'll do a number of these uh, because every time we do this, obviously the, uh, the learnings for the team are just immense uh, and we'll continue to capture and improve uh, as we build a few more houses uh, in WA in the coming months uh, and then position ourselves for the future and um, uh, we're feeling pretty upbeat and buoyant about that uh, right at this time. And while the borders are locked and while we can't travel overseas of course, um, you know, we have to keep our eyes uh, close to home right now. Uh, we've got a lot of support from the building community at the moment, a lot of interest. Uh, the government's doing a great job of uh, stimulating the economy. And what we know, having been on the journey for over 15 years, is that uh, recessions uh, usually recover due to uh, construction and technology. And we just happen to be in the construction technology business. So we feel that we will be a part of whatever Australia does uh, to come out of the other side of the COVID-19 environment in a positive way.